In this first video looking at styles we're going to have a look at a general overview of why you would use them and how you would use them. Styles are fundamental to working with Word, particularly when it comes to um, large documents like a thesis. Many people I think believe that styles are very perfunctory and they don't give you much in addition to manually formatting, so um, highlighting and applying the formatting yourself, but in fact there's a lot of hidden functionality and we'll draw some of that out in the course of this and subsequent videos. So in terms of how you would work with styles, um, the best the best thing to do is probably to actually ignore this this large area on your home tab up here and start the styles pane and you do that by clicking on this small square icon here the dialog box launcher and what that will do is just give you a styles pane which you can uh, position anywhere you like I would suggest that you just grab it and drag it as far as you can and it will dock to the side of your screen. The next thing to do is just click on show preview down the bottom so that you actually get an idea of what that style looks like when applied to your document. To begin with, uh, avoid clicking on the styles themselves in the styles pane because if you do that it will apply it immediately to your document which isn't a massive problem, you just use Control Z to undo, um, but it's uh, something to avoid getting into the habit of doing. So if we're looking at this document and we just want to consider um, the different types of style that are being used, we can see that there's a number of different formats in this document. So if I just select each of these as um, we go down through the document, you'll see the different formatting being uh, highlighted in the styles pane. So the bog standard paragraphs themselves are actually using their own style called normal. That's the default style that you always use when you start typing in Word. Mercury is a heading 2, Geology a heading 3, and Core is a heading 4, and that, that kind of hierarchical structure for the headings uh, is something that you're going to be using in your thesis, um, and it's something that's repeated throughout this document as we work through. Styles, um, in terms of being of use to you, um, very quickly what you might want to do is um, change the look and feel of your document. So if you just consider a situation where you'd applied all of this formatting manually, so you'd gone through, you'd highlighted each one of these and you'd gone to um, your text, you change the font face, you change the size from the default to 14, you change the colour to blue. Uh, you would have to do that every time you wanted to apply that format to another heading. But similarly, if you'd done that throughout your whole document and you suddenly decided you didn't like blue anymore, you'd have to change each one separately. There would be no way of changing that all in one go for every one of the headings that you'd applied that format to. However, with styles, you've got global control over the look and feel of your document. So by that, I mean um, we can just change the style and the document updates. So for example, geology is a level three um, heading. It's blue, it's a particular size. If we want to alter that for all instances of heading level three, we can do that very easily. So first off, let's have a look to see how many heading threes there are. So I'm, I'm not going to click, I'm just going to hover here until I see the drop arrow. Click on the drop arrow and then I'm going to say select all. It currently says no data, but as soon as I click on that it will actually highlight all of the instances. If I go back, hover again, click, it will then tell me how many instances there are. And there are 18 headings uh, with the heading three style applied. So all I'm going to do is click on that drop arrow again. I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to change the size. I'm going to change the font and I'm going to change the color to make this very obvious. Say OK. And you can see straight away that um, all of those instances have updated. And you don't need to pre-select them as I did. I was just showing you how many different um, instances there were. All you actually need to do is click on modify on one of the, the headings. It really doesn't matter which. Uh, I'll demonstrate with uh, this and you'll see all of those update throughout the document as well. 
So styles um, give you uh, a way to control the look and feel of your document um, very, very quickly. Uh, and if you want an even better example, I could just change the normal font here. Just quickly switch that to something like Helvetica. And you'll see that the entire character of that document, bar the headings, has now changed uh, to reflect what I've uh, requested. So that is a, a, a a good reason in its own right to adopt the use of styles, but they also enable you to do uh, many automated things in Word. Key amongst those are things like generating a table of contents at the end of your um, thesis writing process. Another great feature for big documents is the ability to navigate by style. So for example, if you've got a 300 page document, you don't want to have to scroll through every single page. You would much prefer, I would imagine, to jump to a particular area of that document. So if I just click up here in Find and click on Find again, and make sure the Headings um, tab is selected here, you'll see that I get a synopsis of my document broken down by the various headings. And I can click on these and just navigate through my document based on that synopsis rather than, as I said, scrolling through page by page. So those are a few of the advantages of working with styles and um, that's a very brief overview of how you can begin to work with them. In subsequent videos we, uh, we go into more depth in particular areas of styles uh, and by the end of the style um, set of videos you'll have a very very good overview of how to work with them.